All right. Actually, the weather is perfect for a study like this. I'll tell you that right now. Hi, everybody. This is Angelo Quinones and you reach I Ministries. I Ministries is designed to give you dependable and accurate answers that come straight from God's holy and inspired word, the Bible. This one, the Bible. Now, we have been studying from Matthew chapter 24. And the last verse that we studied was verse 22. Okay, verse 22. Just before the verse that tells us about the false prophets, false messiahs, and that's just the deal. Now we're going to get into a very, very important piece of scripture from verse 23 all the way to, I believe, verse either verse 27 or verse 28. So this is a big chunk of scripture. And... In reading this, you know, after studying this, rather, we're going to be more than halfway uh, done, okay, with the chapter. The chapter has 51 verses, so it's a big It's a big chapter. It's not, you know, chapter 1 of Luke. It's not, you know, uh, these, these big chapters, these lofty big chapters in the Bible, but it's still anything, anything more than 50 verses is a big, is, is, is a big chapter. All right, now um, let's read from the NASB and the NET, okay? Now, this happens to be my you know, one of my favorite Bibles, you know, the, the NASB. It's not my favorite, but it's one of my favorite Bibles. I mean, this is, uh, this is a very respectable Bible. The NASB is a very good, dependable Bible. The NET is a good Bible. The Today's English Version is a good Bible. ESV is a good Bible. English Bible. But whatever they are, they're not the standard. Okay, that's just the, the Greek and the Hebrew. Okay, are the standards, and it's the full Greek construction. Okay, of this, you know, you know, full Greek construction series. All right, so let's read over here. Then, if anyone says to you, "Behold, here is the Christ," or "There he is." Do not believe him. Verse 24. Well, false. Greek or pseudo. We're going to check it out. Well, false Christs in the plural and false prophets will arise and will show great signs and wonders so as to mislead or deceive, if possible, even the elect. Even the elect, verse 25, Behold, I have, it's probably an imperative there either, but we'll check it out in Greek though. Behold, I have told you beforehand in advance, it says over here in this translation, verse 26. So, if they say to you, okay, probably who mean there, we're going we're gonna to check it out. Behold. He is in the deserts, it says over here, or in the wilderness. Do not go out, or do not go forth. Or behold, he is in the inner or the secret rooms. Do not believe them. Now it's even worse. Do not believe him changes to not do not believe them. Verse 27. For just as the lightning, this is the second coming of Christ, so just, as, just as the lightning comes from the east, okay, and flashes even to the west, so will the coming, it says over here, Parousia is here, actually, this is verse 27, the coming of the Son of Man be. Okay, this is one of the verses that Parousia appears Okay, in this uh, chapter, uh, verse 3, verse uh, 27, 37 and 39 actually has parousia. Now, verse 28, wherever the corpse or the carcass is, there, okay, the vultures or the eagles, another translation says, will gather, uh, will uh, gather. And another translation says, we'll gather together. 
Now let me look at I want to I want to see this last verse because for a long time I didn't understand okay this the eagles wherever the carcass is therefore the eagles will gather or the vultures will gather together I haven't. I, I did not understand it for the longest time, and this is the, the this is what Jesus is trying to say. Okay, it is a guarantee that these things are going to happen. Now, when it's a carcass, when it's a dead uh, body, okay, um, you know, a, a, a dead uh, animal, okay. I mean, you can rest assured that you know, uh, you know, birds are going to be uh, pecking away. That's just a deal. That's just that's just nature. As a guarantee, that's one hundred percent. So actually, um, the certainty or the assuredness of these things is in verse twenty-eight. Is a guarantee that these things, these things are going to happen. Is a guarantee that these things are going to happen. Is a guarantee that you're going to have false prophets, false Christs, and stuff like that. False predictions, false dates, false crimes, and all of the like. Okay, going to happen in the last days. Is a guarantee. So really, verse 28, we're starting already, or, you know, we're not getting into the Greek right now, but really, it's just a guarantee that these things are going to happen. That's why it says, you know, wherever the, 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 the carcass is, the eagles or the vultures will be gathered together. It is a certain guarantee that these things are going to take place. Take place. So it's a guarantee. That's what it means. And I didn't understand it for, like, the longest time in, in my... My Christian life, basically, 33 long years. And for a big chunk of that, I didn't understand that. Oh, the, the eagles, the vultures, I really didn't understand that stuff. Okay, you understand what I mean? That's just the deal. Now, um, so Jesus says it's a guarantee that these things are going to happen. First of all, it's a guarantee that I'm going to come. And it's a, it's a guarantee that these things are all going to take place. Everything that I'm telling you is going to happen 100%. Unlike the false prophets that lie, okay, they're going to be lying to the people. They're going to be lying to the elect. Now, this is really, I call it the second elect. Or if you want to call it the third elect, you could call it the third elect. What do you mean the third elect, the second elect? What is that? The body of the Christ is the body of Christ. I understand that. But, you know, the, the, the Old Dispensation, the Old Testament, had a group of believers that was like, uh, you know, sort of part one, okay, of the called. The part, I call it like part one or whatever the case may be. And then you had, um, in Jesus' time, you had, and all the way until the, the tribulation, you have an, another set of group of, of believers, which consists of the body of Christ, which the Holy Spirit okay um uh indwells you understand what i mean so that's like that's like part two of the church age okay part two of the church age and then you have the church age because they're in the church the elect during the great tribulation time are not the believers that are going to be here okay whoever's alive at the time of of uh, of the rapture Okay, I'm going to be raptured, and after that, okay, the great tribulation time, okay, is going to pop on the scene, and there are people that are going to be saved during that time of the great tribulation. So that's really like the part three of, of the call, of the elect, you know, it's just like the, the third group of the elect, if you will. You have group number one, Noah was called... Okay, uh, Abraham was called, Moses was called, Moshe in the Hebrew. You understand what I'm saying? Dawid, Greek, okay. All of those people consist of the first elect. And then, like I said before, the second group. And the third group is going to be alive. And they're going to be called during the Great Tribulation. And that's just the deal. Well, basically, there's a typhoon here in the Philippines, guys. A typhoon. There's a mini one. I mean, you know, it's not a, it's not a great one, no, no pun intended, but the weather is perfect for our study. That's just the deal. 
Now you can imagine in those days, okay, jumping a little bit more farther, you know, on down the road, when the sun is going to be darkened, the moon is going to be turned to blood, the sea is going to is going to roar, the stars in heaven is going to, you know, be cast down. Okay, you understand what I mean? I mean, you know, this typhoon is this a firecracker compared to that what's going to happen in the tribulation time. In the tribulation time, the sun will be darkened, and that's the and that you know what you know what was what was what, what, going to happen. By that time, all of the cars, okay, in certain countries, will be electric. At that time, there ain't going to be no means of transportation. At that time, there ain't going to be no more power. They're going to be using candles. I'll tell you that. It's going to be, it's going to be like the 15th century. You understand what I'm saying? No power. No electricity. No running water. No food. Because the Antichrist is going to, is going to own everything. It's going to, he's going to manipulate everything. It's going to be a monopoly. You can't buy or sell without the Antichrist. Perilous times. Wars. Rumors of wars. False Christ. False dates. The love of many is going to grow cold. I mean, it's going to be a perilous time. You can't eat. You can't sell. Mark of the beast. The abomination of desolation is spoken by Daniel the prophet and by our Lord. Is going to be on full display. The dragon. The first beast, the Antichrist. The second beast, false prophet. Giving life to the image of the first beast. Flying signs and wonders. That's just a deal. Pestilences. First seal, second seal. First trumpet, whatever the case may be, pop it up on the scene. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be amazing. We gotta be ready. We gotta be ready. Is this all? Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, yeah, right. I mean, half of you don't even read the Bible. Oh, I'm ready. Yeah, uh, half of you don't even pray. It says over here. In verse nine, what? In verse uh, twenty, it says, "Pray that your flight be not in winter, nor on the Sabbath. Let the reader understand. Well, how are you going to understand if you don't even read the Bible? I mean, that's just the deal." All right, so let's just uh, deal. So let's let's go to verse uh, twenty-three and let's uh, let's read this. You understand? This is going to be something. I mean, this is going to be what it's going to be. Oh, it's really raining cats and dogs outside, and the cats and dogs in the Philippines are friends, guys. That's just the deal. Then, if anyone, anyone. Says to you, behold, here is the Christ, the Christ, the Messiah. Or there he is. Do not believe him. And the him is not there. Do not believe him. Do not believe him. I said several times already in a study that in John chapter 7 he said, okay, that if another one comes in his own name, he you will believe, meaning the Antichrist. But he's not even talking about the Antichrist, okay? He's talking about people who's going to say, well, you know something? Um, I saw the Antichrist. He's in the desert. I saw, oh, and I saw the Antichrist, though, but I mean, you know, I saw the Christ. I saw the Christ. Well, he's in a room. He's in a secret chamber. I saw the Christ. He, he's in the desert. 
And a very strange things that Jesus that Jesus said. A very strange thing he said, do not believe. Well, usually he says to believe. But believe in him. But in his false prophet, he says, do not believe. Do not believe. And probably may over there. Uh, it's probably the imperative. And anyway, let's check it out. Now I gotta I gotta sort of shout guys because the rain is very strong. Okay, it kind of sounds like the great great tribulation. Scorpions, poison, famine. It ain't gonna rain sometimes. Water's gonna turn to blood. Ah, I mean it's like Exodus chapter nine all over again, guys. Are you ready? Blessed are those who will reach the 1,335 days. But that's for the people at that time. We're not living through the great Megale, the great tribulation. Blipsis in Greek. Alright, so let's go. Let's go to uh, the Greek here because this is a full Greek construction study. So let's go to the Greek, guys. Let's see where we're at here. Okay. It says over here, then if anyone do you. Okay, it says over here, says, let us check it out. Now then it's Tate, and it's a whole bunch of Tates over here in, in, in uh, chapter 24. Tate spelled out T O T E or Tau. Now they's called Tough. Omicron now they's called Omicron. Tau Epsilon. The acute marker is on the first syllable. So Tate. Tate. If Aeon. Now if you see Aeon is a very good clue that a subjunctive okay, is coming on up on the scene. Tate. And if anyone tis T I S or Tau Eo, uh, Eota Final Sigma to you is Humin from the Sioux Paradigm. Su Su Soy Se Hemes Hemon Hemin Hemas. Well, says is Epe. It says over here. Now that's the subjunctive right there. Why? Well, I mean, you know, the lexical form is epo. And the eta in the textual form is pointing out the subjunctive with the iota subscript, by the way. Okay, so over here, epe. Epe. Now, in modern Greek, it will be epi if, it, if they were sounding this off. Epi. Epe, because I'm talking about biblical pronunciation, you understand what I'm saying? Says. Ara subjunctive active, it says over here. Epe. And the subjunctive is the, the subjunctive morphine is the eta. Sometimes omega will be uh, the, the sign of, of, of a subjunctive in other uh, uh, constructions, in other verbs. Okay? The famous one, like I like to say so many times, is as uh, eskenosin. Okay? Or what a numobobo, eskenose or eskenosin. I like. The, the end better the end sounding ending to that better in uh, John seventeen three and also epoi uh, uh, epoi uh, what is it um, uh, let us make man uh, I forgot the well, what is it <laughs> epoi epoi essen um, that's the aris there. The subjunctive is Aris anyway, also. Oh boy, uh, what is it? I, I gotta check that out. Uh, this is the Mega over there, and I just forgot it. Oh, boy, so oh, boy, Esselman. Boy, Esselman, I'm sorry. I'm putting an Epsilon um, there, but the Epsilon belongs in, the, in verse uh, uh, 1 of the Greek Septuagint, chapter 1. Uh, where it says, NRK Epoyasin, uh, Hate As Tan Uranan Kai Tain Gain. And, uh, there's no, there's no augment there in, uh, the, 
Poeo, a word found and recorded in verse 26, is actually Poes Omen. Poes Omen, the O is the Omega there, and that's pointing out the subjunctive uh, uh, mood there. And it's, it's an aorist also. It's also found and recorded in the Greek New Testament, for example, like around, uh, I believe, uh, Mark chapter 9, verse 5, where, where Peter says, uh, Let us make, uh, you know, three tabernacles, one for you. One for Moses and one for Elijah. He didn't even know what he was talking about. I mean, goodness gracious. Oh, man. <laughs> I'll tell you. But again, it says over here, okay, tate. Tate e an this. If anyone to you who mean, okay, who mean, says, okay, Aris, a subjunctive active, epe, okay, behold. And so that's an imperative, idu. Idu. The epsilon is the is the is the imperative morphine, and I believe it collided with the omicron, and then it changed to omicron upsilon. I mean, you know, you can check out the morphology Greek uh, to check me out on that uh, to see. Um, but the epsilon, I think, is used uh, there, and that's why it changed. Behold, here is now. Here is hode. The is is not here. Esten is not there. Here is the Christ. Ha Christos. Here is the Christ. Not a Christ, but here is the Christ, the Messiah. Here is the Messiah or the Greek word a with the acute marker or here and that's called the and it says over here, may, and I was right, may, because you're outside in the indicative, okay? Uh, so believe it, okay, not is in the may. So the not be is first, and then believe, and then it is not there. Believe, okay, is uh, pistu, uh, pistu sete, pistu sete, and that's a subjunctive. You see the eta there. You see, and that, and that, um, and uh, the second person personal ending de is there from the primary active uh, side of the chart. Okay, so the de there is the primary active personal ending de, second person plural. Then the eta is pointing out the subjunctive, and then you have the sigma there, tucked in there for the aorist, I believe. Okay, and then you have uh, pis tu, and then pis tu setai, pis tu setai, pis tu setai, and uh, the lexical form is pis uh, pis tu o. Okay, pis tu o, uh, as, and th this is. A subjunctive over here, and this is an and this is an exhortation from the Lord. So this is not an imperative. This is not an imperative mood. This is a sub, this is in a subjunctive mood. Okay, but nevertheless, it's a it's an exhortation by uh, Jesus uh, to the disciples not to believe. Okay, if people say, uh, "Here he is," without seeing him for yourself, in the way that Jesus told you that that he was going to come. He said he was going to come, okay, in clouds of glory. He was going to come like the lightning shines, okay, from the, you know, that comes from the west and shines to the east in the very clear sign of Jesus' Jesus' return. It's kind of chilly, guys. I mean, you know, the, okay. I mean, that's just the deal. Okay, now let's check it out. There will arise, it says over here, all one word. This is a long Greek word, guys. <laughs> this is, this is the, the future tense on formative sigma is there. Okay, uh, then the connecting vowel, and then the untai pleasantly uh, appears there. Okay, untai. My, sai, tai, meta, uh, uh, untai is here. Passive, uh, uh, plural, uh, third person, third person ending, and it says over here, e -ger -the. ah, e -ger -the 
Santai. Let's check this out. Okay, so this is... You understand what I'm saying? Or where, where, where am I at over here? This is a future indicative passive. Future indicative passive. Okay, future indicative passive. Now, the theta and eta is why I said, eh, because that's the passive uh, morphine. Okay, uh, passive morphine right over there. So that's the pa the passive is in in is the structure that could, that tells you this is in the passive voice is is the data and the eta. Now they's called theta and eta. It's right there in the data and, and eta, and then the future transformative sigmas there, the connecting vowels there, omicron, the rule. You know, omicron before a new or move, right? Then you got the untai there, a uh, uh, third person. A personal ending from in from the primary passive personal ending box. <laughs> okay, you understand? All right, there will arise. So there will arise. Okay, four and gar. You translate that first as the post positive. There, false Christ. It says over here, Greek word. Okay, pseudo is there, and um, actually. Uh, you got uh, Psi, Epsilon, Upsilon, Delta, and then Omicron as a sort of connecting vowel. And then you have uh, Christoi, and the Iota is tagged along, uh, you know, right after the root of uh, root for the word Christ, Christa, putting that in the plural, the Iota. Okay, so it's not only a false Christ, but false Christs. This is in a plural. And, Greek word, guy. Okay, false prophets. So not only false Christ will appear, but false, okay, prophets will appear. So you got pseudo, P-S, right? Pseudo, and then, um, uh, prophetai. Okay, prophetai. So that's just it there. So you got a uh, nominative masculine plural, okay, uh, there. And that's just the deal. Yeah, um, so that's just it. So you got false Christ and false, you know, prophets to worry about. I mean, you know, it's just it's, it's, it's enough worrying about Joseph Smith hanging around still after his death. False prophets like that. False prophet, and they, and they mean, and he means those uh, false prophets. The one in the tower, Charles Davis Russell. The one in the tower, okay, uh, Joseph Franklin Rutherford. The one in the Mormon church, Joseph Smith. Okay, ah, false prophets, ah, Muhammad. was a false prophet. He said it himself. I'm not saying anything that Muhammad didn't say. He wanted to jump off a cliff. He wanted to commit suicide. His stupid wife told him not to do that, and that's why we have Islam hanging around. I'm just saying. I'm not telling you, you know, you know, die on your own prophet. I'm not saying anything he didn't say. He said that he, you know, the, the devil visited him. That's what, it's, that's what the history is. In AD 600, you know, he was going to kill himself. I'm just saying. Ken which and Wine complain about, complain about Angelo. Uh, Muhammad said it himself. He wanted to commit suicide because the, the devil was speaking to him. And his stupid wife told him not to do it. You see? Just saying. It's always the wife, man. It's, it's always the one that messes up. You understand what I'm saying? Eve. You see? Hard-headed woman said Elvis Presley. You understand what I'm saying? And the thorn of uh, the side of man. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I ain't telling you nothing. I ain't telling that, 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 that he didn't tell you. Uh, the university. Come on, man. Killing people left and right and stuff like that. Islam. Wouldn't have been an Islam if it wasn't for the weakness of Abraham and Sarah. That's, that's, that's you know, fooling around and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Just saying. We have to wait, man. We have to wait for God to, you know... Uh, 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 promise to, to, to be fulfilled in his own way. Hadas, you understand what I'm saying? In his own way. Derek, by the way, in Hebrew, not in our way. Abraham and Isaac, uh, 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 I'm sorry, uh, Abraham and uh, Sarah, they didn't wait. 
and Islam was born. You see? But that's just another topic altogether. I'm just saying. False Christs. You see? Islam is waiting for Christ. For a Christ. I'm just saying. They're, they're waiting for a Messiah. To, to appear, you know, the Sunni and the Shiites have different, you know, ways that the Messiah, their Messiah is going to come. I mean, you know, the Messiah, uh, if either the Sunni or the Shiites is going to come out of a well, and then they have other uh, uh, schemes, you see. The, Buddha, the Buddhist, uh, he has his own Messiah that's going to pop up on the scene. False Christ, says over here. Pseudo Christi. And Greek word Kai, now they pronounce K in modern Greek, false prophets. And I just mentioned, I just mentioned three. I mentioned four. Muhammad, Joseph Smith, which is called the American Muhammad, by the way. There's a, there's a, there's a book entitled The American Muhammad, and it's on his hand by Alvin Schmidt. It's a great book. You know, the greatest fan of Muhammad was Joseph Smith. The greatest fan of Muhammad. They used to call him the Yankee Muhammad. Yeah? The Yankee Muhammad. That's what he used to, used to call him. He even said, like Muhammad said, okay, uh, the sword in Muhammad, well, Joseph Smith for the sword. Or something like that, you know. Look, look, look at the book again. Pseudo is over here recorded. False Christ, false Messiah, false prophet, false, false prophets. You understand? False, very false indeed. And this is over here. They will give. Signs. Now, um, so it's over here. Do, dosu, dosu sen, dosu sen here. From Dilumi, dosu sen. So do is the stem over here. They will give, uh, dosu sen, uh, dosu sen there. And, uh, the future tense, uh, Form, uh, this is in the few. Let me see for, for a second. This is in the future tense. So you have the you have the delta and omega here as the stem, and then you have the the future tense form of the sigma here, and usin here. Um, um, you have a uh, uh, third person personal ending from the primary active personal ending side of the chart. Okay, I'm in at the Usi. So you have Usi over here, primary active, a primary active. Um, personal ending, Usin. You have the new movable there. So it could either be Usi or Usin, and the whole shebang is here, Usin. Okay. So this comes in three uh, chunks, this, this dull word. Okay, uh, Dosusin. A very wonderful, regular Actually, even if it's, it's even though it's a even though it's a it's a dinomi word, a me verb. Okay, yes, you see the present form down over there. Uh, delta reduplicating to another delta, and uh, in the middle of it, you have an iota. Not to be confused, not to be confused with the perfect tense. It's not. That's not the perfect tense. That's a present tense form, didomi, and do is the stem there, and me is the. It says this is an ath 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 Athematic, athematic, uh, uh, what? No theme vowel because in the stem or the root of the verb contains a vowel in it, so you don't need a connecting vowel. So that's just it. Um, anyways, a me verb, they will give, okay? Do, they will give. And the stand signs, uh, actually, it's a separate word. Uh, semera, uh, semea, actually, semea, uh, uh, sigma, eta, now they call eta, mu, now they call me, epsilon, iota, alpha, semea, uh, signs, 
They will give signs. Now, uh, Charles C. Russell never gave a sign. Muhammad never gave a sign. He never did any miracle. I mean, he didn't split the moon. I mean, come on, man. What's that stuff? It's like Joe Biden all over again. You understand what I'm saying? Come on, man. He split the moon. He split the moon. Come on, man, with the stuff. Give me a break. He split the moon. Moon's going to be turned to blood by, by, by Jesus. I'll tell you that right now, man. That's the true prophet right there. King of King and Lord of Lords. I mean, Muhammad didn't split the moon. Come on, man. What, what is this? Uh, Charles says Russell never did anything special. I mean, uh, Joseph Smith never did any miracle. I mean, he didn't, I mean, you know, so not all prophets, you know, uh, false prophets, not even prophets, though. Just the good prophets. I mean, John the Baptist never did a miracle in his life. And yet he was a true prophet. I mean, so you don't need a prophet doing miracles to be a, a, a true prophet. You understand what I'm saying? And he never did a miracle in his life, uh, John the Baptist. The miracle was in his preaching. You understand? Led many to the Messiah. The true Messiah, by the way. You understand? Not these, 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 these. All right, now let me see over here what I got over here. Diddle me. I already went into that. And I said, say me, say me, say me. I already went into that. Great. It says over here, Megala. 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 Actually, we already saw Megala. Actually, in a different construction, I believe, in one of the previous verses. Okay. So we saw that already. This is this, this, this adjective. Okay. Uh, and Greek word kai, wonders. And wonders is the. Rata. Terata. Actually, because of the acute marker. Terata. 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 Wonders. Signs and wonders. Semea terata. Kai terata. You understand? That's what they're going to do. So they're not going to be like these normal prophet, prophets hanging around and stuff like that. No, no, no. They're going to be giving you signs. They're going to be giving you wonders. The false prophet, okay, that breathes life into the image. Uh, he's going to do signs and wonders. Oh, absolutely. Talking about him, he's going to bring life to... Uh, listen, he's going to mimic something that the only one that ever did was God. Is that what I'm saying? God. God breathed into the nostrils of man when he was, you know... Uh, you know, just made from the dust of the ground, the breath of life. And, and, and God is going to allow the false prophet, you understand what I'm saying? That faggot, he's going to be giving him the power to actually, you understand? To actually breathe life into, cl into clay, into, into dust. I mean, because the statue is going to be made of what? It's going to be made of, uh, it could be made of, of clay or whatever the case may be. It's still from dust. So he basically is doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's not skinning, he's not skinning bones yet. Okay, you know, but 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 the material that that the uh, um, the image is made of is comes from the dust of the ground. It's the same thing. But God has to give him, allow him to you know to to do this thing for his own for his own. Purpose, you see, for his own purpose. His own purpose. God has a purpose because that's going to lead to the destruction of the Antichrist. It's going to lead straight to it. Megala, Megala, actually, because of the cute marker. Megala, great signs and wonders. Great, okay, Megala kai terata. Great. Big. So as it says over here, hoste to mislead. Okay, it says over here, bla ne sai, and that's uh, so. Joseph, you see the aorist, the aorist active uh, uh, infinitive. Did I say subjunctive? It's not subjunctive. I'm sorry about that. This is an infinitive. I meant to say. I don't know if I said uh, 
subjunctive, but the sigma alpha iota is is a infinitive morphine, okay, from the active aorist side of the chart, the tippy top side of the chart, okay, plane uh, sai, okay. So the sigma alpha iota is is uh, is part of that. It's part of the uh, is 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 um the infinitive morphine. This is the infinitive morphine. So when you see sigma alpha iota, I mean you you know you have to be careful with that because my side tie also. But but I guess that's why you don't see the side too much. Maybe the Greeks put it like that so that way you won't get confused with the infinitive to hide a little bit the psi, you know, uh, my psi tie, the, the, the uh, passive personal ending uh, psi. Well, you don't, see, you don't see too much of the psi. You see A, the sigma dropping off and the alpha turning into maybe eta like that. Oh, and, and the yoda subscribing underneath the eta. Now they call eta. I mean, you know, whatever. But you don't see it too much of that, and my guess is because I mean, if you do see a lot of it, man, you're gonna be confused with the, with the, you can be confused with the um, infinitive morphine. So I guess that's why they kind of hid it away. Uh, maybe I'm giving the Greeks too much credit, you know. All right, now um, so as a uh, hoste, okay, to mislead, okay, a uh, plane sai. To mislead, and, and, and infinitive is a verbal noun. It's a verbal noun, you understand? Verbal noun. Infinite verb. Versus, you know, something that's finite, like ain or something like that in John 1 1. You understand what I'm saying? A, B, C, all across the board. Energy uno locos que o locos in prostonte on que te o sino locos. Behreshit. It says over here, hi, not over here, but in my mind, okay, for reciting the, the Hebrew of John 1 1. Behreshit haya hadabar. Hadabar haya im ha alohim va alohim haya hadabar. The bar means what in Hebrew? Haya means was. It has a semantic pool, but that's one of the meanings. Behreshit means uh, in the beginning. Ha means or whatever, ha means the, you know, and Elohim, you know what that means and stuff like that. That's John 1 1 in Hebrew. Okay? That's just it. Now, this is Logos is going to appear on a white horse, okay? Having his vesture dipped in blood. And it's not really going to be a horse, it's going to be uh, uh, horses of clouds, right? Like that. And his army is going to follow around. Is gonna follow after him. When the saints come marching in, I wanna be in that number. When the saints come marching in, it's not gonna be Flintstone. It's gonna be singing that baby boy. It's gonna be Christ Himself and His servants. That's just all there is to it. All right, so that's just a deal. So what do we have over here? So as to mislead, if, and that's A. All right, if possible. So it's over here, uh, uh, do not on, do not on, do not on, possible. Do not tie is ability, right? Do not tie. Even, Greek word chi, the, that's tus, and so that's tus tas ta, that's plural, tus, right? Accusative to the side of the article paradigm. Uh, elect, ek, you have out there, right? Eclectus, 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 ek, the called out ones, you understand what I'm saying? The elect. Eclectus. That's just the deal. Let's go on. We have a lot to see. It says, so it is a short one. Behold, that's an imperative. Edu. Okay, just like Edete with an epsilon before the te. The te is uh, in like Edete in the imperative. Uh, the te is not a personal ending. That's actually uh, an imperative morphine. Well, over here, it's Edu. But the both are imperatives. Edete 
and Edo, I have uh, foretold it. I have foretold it, okay? Uh, pra e pra e reka. Pra e reka. Actually, because of the acute marker. Okay, because of the acute marker. Again, I have foretold you. Okay, pra e pra e reka. Okay, and that's the deal. So you have the kappa and the alpha there, and you have the perfect tense over here. Okay, the kappa alpha. So you have, is it indicative and active? Okay, and that's just that the pro means before. Erika. Erika. And that's just the deal. The diphthong, I believe, stays the same. That's kind of one of the rules for the perfect tense. There is, you know, there's no lengthening or whatever the case may be. There's an epsilon and yoda just stays there, I believe, right? And that's just it. Now, um... Now, uh, Lego is here. Pra Lego, actually. So you got two words there. Pra, which means uh, before. And Lego, which means I say. So that's there. So, um, behold, I have foretold it. And that's just the deal. To you, who mean. And that's a very short verse. And that's in the dative case, who mean. Okay, if and on, maybe a subjunctive is coming. Okay, that's a big clue. Therefore, and that's un, they say, okay, they say, a person, and there's a subjunctive right there. The omega's pointing that out. If they say, okay, a person, let's see, so you got the epsilon, iota, p, omega, the true sign of the subjunctive. One of the true signs of the subjunctive, because the eta is also like that. Okay, to you who mean, behold, idu. So they're commanding you, okay, to believe these these false prophets and teachers and stuff like that. You understand what I'm saying? In Greek word n the and it has the article here de. It's always going to be in a date of after uh, preposition n wilderness. Okay, ere eremo. Also in the date of case. He is, Estin, okay? The he is not there. This, it could be he, she, or it, according to the context, okay? So, I mean, it's just, it's, he is not, there's no he. It's just, uh, um, uh, you know, Estin is the third person from the Amy A. Estin side of the paradigm, okay? Uh, from the Amy paradigm, but, you know, the Estin is the third person. And then you have s man and... Uh, uh, what is it? S man and S T and uh, Asen for the to complete the, the present uh, uh, Amy paradigm. The Amy the Amy uh, the Amy word in the present tense. Not may okay go forth, and that's a subjunctive. So that's an exhortation from the Lord Jesus. Okay, okay for uh, them not to go forth, and for us not to go forth. May Okay, is is used because it's outside in the indicative. Uh, mu uh, mu eta now it's called mi eta. Go forth, but it says not may. And he rule below, no doubt. Uh, subjunctive aris, subjunctive active. So what do you have over here? Let me see. Um, let me see the construction over here. This is a deponent word. This deponent. Okay. And um, the te is there. So that's a personal ending. And even though the theta and eta is there, remember it's passive form, but it's active in meaning. And so you have epsilon kappa sigma could see Epsilon Lambda there. You have Erchemai. And then you have X right in front of it. X Erchemai. 
Yeah, X Echemai there. Okay. So that's just the deal. So this this is this is not a command, but uh, it's an exhortation from the Lord Jesus. As it says over here, or behold, and the or is not there because Edu is just there, and that's it. Okay, in the so twice, whatever's coming up is in the plural dative. Okay, and uh, that's uh, neuter, but the same construction for the masculine, that article twice. Okay, inner. Okay, rooms. Inner rooms will be da me ois, da me ois. Okay, the. You got the Yoda Sigma there. Tame uh, ois, inner rooms. Me, again. Okay, so it's going to be outside in the indicative me. Believe it. And so you got the eta there. And uh, showcasing the subjunctive. The sigma uh, also... Um, is there for the arist uh, morphine the de is there personal ending and so pistu 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 seta pistu sete do not believe it do not believe so i mean he's saying all across the board not to believe what the message is is not only not to believe him but don't believe the message. Don't believe the message. The message that these these criminals, okay, these 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 frauds, are gonna give are not the message that that Jesus gave to the disciples so long ago. This is our manual today, and it's gonna be the manual. Let the reader understand in the time of the great tribulation, meaning all of these imperatives, all of these exhortations, or whatever the case may be. Okay, all these future statements for us is, in the, in, is these things are going to happen in the future. For the people who are living in a great tribulation, it is for them for the, at the present time. Okay, and this is the manual of how to con conduct okay, yourself during the great Megale, during the great tribulation. Flip this. You know what I'm saying? This is the guidebook. Now we see that the people are going to be misled. But Jesus is not misleading anybody. He's warning them beforehand. Lo, I have told you. Prolego. I have told you beforehand. You understand what I'm saying? Said Jesus, our Jesus, by the way, who said that he was the truth. I am the way. Greek word hadas is feminine, by the way. The truth, aletheia, that's also feminine. Hey, articles all across the board. Ha in Hebrew. And uh, uh, hey, Zoe. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And truth is very key for our study here. Because these uh, false prophets and false uh, Christ are not true. It's the pseudo versus the true. You understand what I'm saying? And the truth always, the, the truth always wins. Just as it says over here, hoster. Just as it says, fa. And the uh, Greek word, gai. The, and that's say, so whatever's coming up is going to be feminine. Uh, lightning. So that's in the feminine, right? Okay. Uh, stra. Astrape. Uh, Astrape. Astrape. Strafe, lightning comes. It says over here, ex air getai. Okay, comes. It's a uh, passive ending there. But this is, but this is a deponent word. So, okay, this is a uh, deponent word is uh, middle and passive in form and active in meaning. Okay. In the present. Lightning comes. The lightning comes. It says over here. 
okay from the east okay it says apa apa and then east it says over here ana ta lon ana ta lon okay ana there ta lon the east ana ta lon n it says over here greek word kai shines okay uh fine fine tai fine tai shines okay fine tai shines as far as the it says heos as far as the west okay dusmon dusmon so Okay, hutos, and that's an adverb. It comes from hutos. They just gave it an omega and made an adverb out of it. But that comes from hutos, a hutos there. Will be, and that's estai, and that's in the future tense. Future tense form of sigma is there. Okay, uh, middle, uh, middle passive uh, personal ending tie is there. My side tie, you understand what I'm saying? will be and that's in the future we already saw that okay previously the hey okay coming parousia okay of the of the son of man we to anthropo all in the genitive uh construction son of man that's the genitive of relationship son of man And so that's just the deal. Now, let's go on. Let's continue. So look at the Greek. Now, parousia, that was verse, I believe, 27. Okay. Now, parousia appears, and we already studied verse uh, 3, verses 3, 27, 37, and 39. Parousia appears, and it doesn't say invisible parousia. It doesn't say an invisible presence. So, Arata says nowhere to be found in the chapter. Invisible. You don't see invisible nowhere in the 51 verses. Nowhere do you see invisible. Everything is visible. Everything is clear. Including the coming of the Son of Man. Every eye shall see him. She shall see him. And every nation or tribe shall mourn or wail, says another translation, because of him. Even so, amen. This is, uh, that's recorded in verse 7 of chapter 1 of Revelation. You understand know what I'm saying? Behold, I am, I am coming with clouds. Behold. Well, you can't behold if you can't see. You understand know what I'm saying? What's this? Doesn't make any sense for, you know, unless he's saying, well, uh, not that he's coming invisible, but unless he's saying, well, you know, behold what I am saying. Or something like that, you know. Almost like, like you know, I turn around to see the voice. <laughs> it was kind of strange in Revelation. You understand? But, but, but in a normal sense, how can you behold something and you can't even see it? Invisible coming of, 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 of the Son of Man. Come on, man, with the garbage here already, you know, with the tower. Come on. And then if it's suckers fall for it every day. They fell for the suckers fell for it in 1914, even before that. Okay? You understand what I'm saying? Then they, when he, when he didn't come... Then he started making these stupid excuses like, you know, Harold Camping and the evangelical side of the camp. Okay? Like, uh, well, you know, uh, well, you know, let me give you another day because, he, you know, he, yeah, he came, but spiritually, come on, man. It sounds like the tower. Oh, the garbage, though, man. Harold Camping. I think he knows better now. He, you know. Setting up dates, you know, 1994, then two dates in 2011. Then everybody, you know, selling this stuff. Stupid, stupid fools that they are. Jesus said it's not for you to know. And then how can Jesus come if there, ain't, if there isn't any Antichrist yet? The horn didn't pop up on the scene. So how can, how can these stupid people, I mean, you know, brother camping. In the evangelical side of the camp and then outside of the camp. Outside of the pale of orthodoxy, you have this stupid fool, Charles Dace Russell, saying, you know, that, that Jesus is going to come. 
Based on what? And Antichrist didn't even come yet. Jesus can't listen. Jesus can't come until the Antichrist is here. Okay? You understand? He can't listen, Jesus cannot come until the church is out. The Holy Spirit is out of the way. Antichrist is here. The false prophet is here. And the abomination of the, the abomination that causes desolation is set up in the temple of God. There's not even a temple there. Come on, man. I mean, the, 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 he's telling people not to fall for this garbage. Basura in Spanish, you understand what I'm saying? I'm just saying. People are going to fall for a hook, line, and a shaker, lock, stock, and barrel. I'm just saying. No pun intended because, you know, Antichrist is going to get clocked. And then he's going to return back to life again. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Antichrist is going to die twice. It's almost like a James Bond movie. Only twice. You understand what I'm saying? That's just it. I mean, you know. For uh, wherever. And we're, oh, we came to the last verse in our study. For wherever, it says over here, you understand what I'm saying? Hapu. For wherever, if. Okay, what's we'll that over there? And now, um, Mr. Joseph might be coming. There it goes. Okay, maybe it almost never fails. I mean, Aeon is a, just a great clue said mounts. I mean, it's just a, it's almost, it's two guarantees over here. I mean, you know, the carcass is a guarantee that it's going to be vultures. And that's in the Greek. You know, Aeon is a guarantee that the Sajuntis was coming. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sort of a double uh, assurance right? policy here. You know what I'm saying? For whatever. If. And okay, maybe, and that's a. So maybe is in one little tiny Greek, well, two little tiny Greek letters. The sign of the subjunctive, all in it of itself, means can mean maybe. Eta, just in and of itself. You know, a little tiny yoda. Okay, fine, it's just a deal. Maybe. That's just the deal. And it says over here the um, carcass. Okay, so uh, you have the ta, that's a neuter article for the nominative of any accusative side of the article, 24 article paradigm. And the carcass here is uh, de toma, de toma. Uh, 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 what a bit, Pitoma. Sorry about that. Pitoma. Okay, Pitoma. Sounds like Soma. Pitoma. Pitoma carcass. There, okay, eke. Okay, that's there. Will be. Gathered, and that's in the future tense, no doubt. You already see it. The sigma there tucked in the what? Okay, future tense formative, connecting vowel, and then the untai pleasantly is there. Okay, my psi tai meta the untai. There you go, untai is there. All right, that's just it. The data and eta is there right before the um, the uh, the sigma. So you got the future transformative sigma there, and right before it is you got the data eight of the passive uh, morphine there. Okay, so uh, soon is a gathering, right? It's like synagogue in Greek, right? Sunach the santai. I mean, so it's going to be a gathering of the vultures, man. In reality, this is a guarantee that these things are going to happen. I mean, you know, that's all Jesus needed to say is to give assurance. Not only if he's, is he speaking, he who is the truth in, incarnate. But he's saying it's like, almost like a double assurance. He's speaking, and then he gives an example or sort of like a parable of these things, of these things, certainty. Will be gathered 
Okay, and then that is hoi. Uh, hoi. Uh, vultures, it says over here. Aetai. Aetai. Alpha, Epsilon, Tau. Aetoi, actually. Omicron, Iota. Okay, this is the first declension word. And then Iota is, is right after that, making this plural. And so that's just a deal. So there's a certainty of these things. These things are certain to happen. All of these things must happen before he comes. That's why they must happen. That's the thing. Every, you know, God is not a God of confusion. Okay, he's not giving you mumbo jumbo. Well, this is going to happen. This may be, this may be happening. I mean, you know, he uses subjunctives, but still. Oh, this, I might come in this way, or maybe if things change, no, everything is a guarantee. Everything is certain. Everything is crystal clear. He tells us before, okay, the events happen. I mean, thousands of years before our time. Okay, we know about these events already. From the book of Daniel and stuff like that. You understand what I'm saying? Seal up the vision. Open up the vision. If I desire that he remain until I come, what is that to you? Follow me. So he told John uh, the things that are, are worth to come. Why? Well, that's a, that was the disciple that Jesus loved. So if you have a relationship, okay, the Greek P, with Jesus, a special relationship with Jesus, to more, you know, to him who has, the more shall be given unto him. But he who has not, even that which he has, shall be taken away. Is that the deal? That's how Jesus works. What's that say? I mean, you know, you know, when the, when the Apostle John cried during the receiving of the revelation, I mean, you know, he wept. What's that the deal? Well, who, who is worthy? I mean, you know, Jesus is worthy. Don't cry. I mean, you know, Jesus is worthy. He couldn't find anybody worthy. So he cries. John cried. I mean, that's just a deal. Did you ever cry in front of God? I mean... I mean, I'm not talking about the initial weeping. You know, when you cry, Abba, Father, and say, Lord, I'm a sinner. I'm a horrible, wretched worm of a sinner. I mean, did you ever cry out to God? Did you ever cry out to God before you were saved or when you were being saved? I mean, you know, you can't cry out to God unless you're born again, so I'll take that back. But did you ever cry out to God? Do you ever cry to the Lord? I mean, do you, do you know that you can? Jesus cried. Jesus wept. That's the smallest verse, smallest verse in the Bible. So if he cried, I mean, I could cry. <clears throat> Don't let nobody tell you you can't cry. I mean, the Apostle John wept when he, he, he saw nobody, you know, worthy to open up the seals. And he wept. Jesus didn't tell him, well, don't, don't cry. Come on, what are you doing? Cry. Be a man. Oh. That's from Puerto Rico. That's not, that's, not, that's not Christianity. I'm just saying. We have a bad habit in the Latin, in the Latin world. So, oh, well, you know, men don't cry. I mean, it's garbage. Oh, man. Come on, man. It was Joe Biden again. By the way, I mean, listen, I'll tell you something, though. And man, when I reach that age, if I ever reach that age, man, I got to stop teaching. Yeah, that goes for me too. I, mean, I don't think I'll be on YouTube when I'm 80 years old. <laughs> I don't think so, oh, guys. So, you know, <laughs> you know? It's, it's only 20 years from now, like 22 years. But I'll tell you, man, um, people should stop preaching around the age of 80 something. That should be the deadline. You understand what I'm saying? I know that Moses did it, but still. Remember that Aaron was his uh, voice piece. You know, is that what I'm saying? It's voice box. But people get into trouble when they start preaching, when they continue to preach at a certain age. 
preaching preachers are not like fine wine. The older you get, the better the preaching is. This is the exact opposite. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're Charles Stanley or Chuck Swindoll, I mean, you know, give me a break. Or you know, Martin Lloyd Jones, you know, preached at the age of eighty. But then, I mean, you know, I'm just saying. There should be a little cutoff period, you know, of uh, preaching. You know what I mean? People, people tend to get into trouble when they preach at a certain age. I'm just saying. I mean, you know, there should be a cutoff point. I mean, you know, I mean, the Bible doesn't say anything like that. Sorry about that, guys. The Bible doesn't say anything about that, but still. Now, what did we learn in our study? Well, we learned that there are false Christs that are going to pop up on the scene. Okay, they already popped up on the scene. I mean, I already mentioned fall. But these false messiahs and prophets are going to be doing lying signs and wonders. Let me say something right off the bat, though. Okay, I have to say this. Just because there's going to be lying signs and wonders, it doesn't mean that every sign and wonder done by a person is is a bad thing but that that has to do with spiritual gifts okay i believe in miracles for today okay this, this, this idea that you throw out the baby with the bath water just because you know it says in the bible you know prophets are going to be doing lying signs and wonders and, and false christ isn't going to do you know uh Lying signs and wonders, so I don't believe in signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. I mean, come on, man. It's just going to the to a little bit to the edge of the extreme. Uh, too much to the extreme. Has to be careful with that. You know. We shall know. You know, even as we are known, it's not for now. We don't know as even as we are known. I mean, we haven't seen face to face yet. You understand what I'm saying? Prasopan, pras, prasopan, panim, el panim. We have not done that. And though there's a lot of people in Christianity that don't believe in miracles done by Christian people. And they say, oh, that's from the devil and stuff like that or whatever the case may be. And it's a, it's a whole bunch of lists in the Bible telling you, especially in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, telling you that, you know, the Holy Spirit actually placed these gifts in the church. So your diamond on the Holy Spirit, you're almost close to blasphemy. Saying that these uh, these miracles are from the devil and stuff like that. And, 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 you know, the Holy Spirit gave these gifts to the kick, to the church. I mean, to, to fulfill them. To say, I, I don't think that people even believe in, 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 in miracles when they when they teach like that. I, it's, 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 they probably never believe in uh Never believed in 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 Jesus's miracles, so we have to be careful about that. But what did we learn? Well, we learned, okay, that these things are a guarantee. Verse twenty-eight. That's a very very clear thing that these are. Uh, listen, all of these events will take place. You saw the future tense in many of these uh, verbs, okay? The future tense form of sigma, pointing out the future. Jesus said, if people tell you that they saw the Messiah in the desert or in a secret room, don't go forth. Don't go forth. He said, don't believe him. As a matter of fact. Uses the Greek, uh, if he was speaking Greek, okay, the Greek negative uh, may. If he was speaking Hebrew, the Hebrew negative law. Okay, they're going to be doing lying signs and wonders and stuff like that. If it was possible, they will deceive the very elect. That's just it. In verse 27, it talks about the, the coming of the Son of Man. Okay, uh, we saw a parousia there recorded without the word invisible. So it's not going to be an invisible presence or an invisible coming. Is going to be very visible, very visible, just like the, just like the, lightning. Comes from the east and shines in the west. Uh, it's going to be a very visible thing. 
for people to see. That's just all there is to it. Now, to think of it, it's going to be even brighter because there's not going to be no sunlight. The sun will be darkened. The moon will turn to blood. And I already said in this study, there's going to be no power, no electrical vehicles. I mean, the, the, the vehicles, uh, all the vehicles are going to consist of electrical uh, power. They're going to need the power of the sun to generate, you know, the batteries and stuff like that that these things are charged with. There ain't going to be no power. There ain't going to be no, no trucks, no cars, nothing. Nothing. So no transportation, no food. Antichrist is going to be ruling, you understand what I'm saying? In the temple of God, setting up himself to be God. But it says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. It says that the coming of Christ will consume the adversary. This is Angelo Kinyon is given glory to the God of Yisrael. God is not the God of the Mut, of the dead, in Hebrew, Mut, but of the living. And that means that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were very much alive at the time that Jesus said those words. Please subscribe to my channel. Please give me a thumbs up. And please leave a comment on the screen. May God be praised for his holy word. Before I go, let me just read um, from this very small, small uh, scripture recorded. I believe, okay, in verse 25. It's a very small verse. Edu, behold, I have told you in advance. Behold, I have told you in advance. So there's no excuse. End quote, by the way. There's no excuse. Oh, Jesus never told me. I've never had a manual. I mean, he's giving you a manual. He's giving you a guide. Remember, the false prophets are going to be misleading many. But Jesus is giving you a book. He's giving you a tour of what's going to happen. He's giving you prophecy. What will be the sign of your coming? He is telling us, okay, point blank, this, about the signs. About the signs of the time. Thanks, guys. Bye.